Welcome back, Ariel Yoga Goddesses. So excited you're here because I am feeling good. I am vibing high today and I'm excited to share a part of Ariel Yoga that is one of my favorites. It's the reason I got into aerial yoga. It is like the only thing that I really do with the hammock besides stretch and everything else. But it is what helped me master the handstand, the arm balances, and all of those awesome inversions. Not only is it great for doing that, if you have never done yoga, you have never done gymnastics, you've never done anything like this, it allows absolute, absolute beginners to be able to feel the benefits of going upside down, lengthening the spine, it puts no pressure on your neck, it gives you really awesome upper body strength, and just all around is such an awesome tool. So, I'm so excited that you're here to join me. All right, aerial yoga goddesses. So we'll start off with some warm-ups for the arms, the upper body, and just talk about the technique of handstands. So we wanna bring our hands, palms facing down to the top of the mat. We wanna set them up right underneath our shoulders. So, trick here for mastering those handstands is to really pull your shoulder blades down your back and lift through your chest. You want to claw your hands into the floor and just lift, engage your core, pull your legs together, and breathe. So often we forget to breathe when we're doing inversions, and that is the key. So we've got our hands set up, our lats are pulling down our back. You can go ahead and take that right foot into the fabric right at the ankle. We're clawing the floor, we'll take a big breath in to open through the chest, look up. And as you exhale, we're gonna bring it into plank just to start. Inhale, bring that left leg down, look up. Exhale, plank. Two more, inhale. Give 
here is a break. Relax, breathe. We'll bring it into inversion. So, grabbing up high on the fabric, we're going to bring it up to the small of the back. Thumbs are going to tuck in right there. We're going to start to lean back, keys to keep the legs super, super wide. Legs come wide, bring the hands to the floor, attach the feet around so they're out and around from, hook your feet on, straighten your legs out, push them to the floor. Breathe. Start to put your body on one straight line, push your feet out, bring your hands off the floor. Kick one foot into the fabric and the other. Can get a little twist. Making sure you're breathing. You can walk the hands forward, relax the legs, stretch out, drop your head. You want to try out your scorpion. You're going to bend your knees, bring them back behind you. Look between your hands. This only works if your hands are forward. Start to reach your feet towards your head. Core is super, super tight. Toes are pointed. Fingers are gripping the mat. Maybe look under your chest for a little hollow back. Maybe hook one leg on, stretch the other one out. Bring the legs wide, grab up between the hands, come up, relax, breathe. We are cleansing the lymphatic system, moving around all that stale energy, all that junk, all that crap we don't need anymore. Just let it go. Make sure you're exhaling. You don't need to hold any of that stuff in. Anxiety and stress comes from holding in our emotions. What I learned out at Esalen in California is that when we don't express ourselves, it starts to turn into illness, dis-ease in the body, tension, nervousness. So if you really allow yourself to exhale and release, you can let go of all that junk. You can let go of all that stress, all that tension. You can be in that receiving mode, that allowing mode that Abraham Hicks talks about. Being in the vortex, feeling good. Another pose that I'm super in love with, if you've been following me, you know that I do it all the time and mastered it here from this handstand, is to just bring the forearms down to the ground. Let your elbows come down to the mat, right underneath your shoulders. Your thumbs are going to be about an inch apart. And you just come down to the forearms for forearm stand. Once you're there, we'll bring that right leg into the fabric right at the ankle, same with the left. You can start to walk your hands back. Claw the floor, same thing. Shoulders pull down the back, lift through the chest, lift your hips up to the sky. Breathe, look between your hands. If you want, you can start to bring one foot off. If you feel good, you can start to use this fabric as balance and start to bend that left knee into your body. Squeeze your core, squeeze your shoulders together, squeeze your elbows together. Breathe. If you can get your ankle back in, you can start to use this as leverage and look underneath. Try out a hollow back. Bend that knee in. Reach that back leg back, 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 and under, under to the ceiling. Woo! Not forgetting to breathe. All right, Ariel Yogis, thank you for being here. I'm Margie Pargy. If you loved this, like, subscribe, comment, do what feels freaking awesome, and don't forget to tune in next week for another tutorial. 
Mwah. Namaste.